Unfortunately, this is a pre-recorded interview uh, regarding of the arts and culture broadcast that was happening yesterday. Anyway, we're talking about filmmaking, especially when it comes to young people telling their stories through their eyes. So it's even worse when it comes to women telling their stories. So in studio, I'm joined by young filmmakers who are also uh, women. Sorry to highlight that uh, they are women. Not that I'm being sexist or what, but it's kind of like encouraging uh, young women to be independent, especially when it comes to telling their stories. Okay, cool. See, enough with that introduction, long one. How is it? One minute already. Anyway, guys, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nijan. It's been Good, cool. good. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do it all traditional radio style. You guys tell who Mugubani, where are you from? And how did you start uh, imagining and feeling? Okay, I'm going to start with Okay, let me start. Okay, so I'm landing with Konamiani, and I was born in Alice in the Eastern Cape, but then I was raised in the Free State, at Wooden Elstress. How I came to Cape Town to study film? I was studying. I came here to study as a PUT, and I studied film and, um, film and video technology. So that is how I got into the whole film and Making is. Oh, okay, sweet. Um, guys, clean your That's my full name, but everyone calls me Tida, so I'm Tida. Um, I'm from Cape Town. If you look at Eastern Lower Crossroads, if everyone knows that. Um, but then originally, Eastern Cape, I'm from Sofimama, and 
I also started filming the video at CPUT. So yeah, that's how I got into film. So, uh, okay, you guys obviously met in school, right? Yeah, we met in school. Yeah. So why partner together to do film? What, what, what made you guys click? Is oh, it maybe eating the same food together. or what? No. <laughs> no, that's, that's mainly because, okay, what made us click is because we became roommates in varsity. So obviously when you're a roommate with someone, you, you become friends as well. And also we're doing the same course. So us doing the same course and being the roommates and talking about our dreams and all that stuff and what we like to do. That's how we started working together. Yeah, there was a connection there and we gel very well together. Yeah. It's like a yin yang type of situation. Whichever, I'm, wherever I'm lacking, she always fills that gap up and vice versa. Okay, so tell me, let's go back now. Yeah. What made you guys want to study film? What made us? Oh, I think obviously you have different stories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With my story, I I think I've always been fascinated when I watch Generation, and I'm like, yo, I enjoy actually watching this. But then I also want to do. At, at first in high school, I didn't know exactly like if it's film or whatever. All I knew was I'm gonna be in television and I'm gonna be telling stories. So I didn't know exactly what I wanted to be or how to go about it. But then as soon as I got to matric and then you go to, um. What do you call those things? Go your open, day, no. open days and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. Sorry, this is film and photography. I mean, this film, you can actually do these things behind the scenes. Because I've always been into like theater, but then I was like, no, but then I want to do it on television, but I don't want to be on TV. I want to be behind the scenes. But then without knowing exactly where, exactly like where I wanted to be in behind the scenes. Actually, I thought I was going to be a writer or something, but then I wanted to find out that I was going to be making films and stuff like that. Yeah. And you yeah. Come? Okay, so Mina. So. Okay, for for me, I really didn't have friends like growing up. So my only source of entertainment was television, and through television, I found it very fascinating. So I would be watching something, or I would be watching something and trying to like predict what's going to happen next. And then if something really happens the way that I I had said, then it it, it made me really happy. So when I came to Cape Town, I initially. I never told her this, but I initially wanted to be like a hectic 99. I was like, I'm going to go to Cape Town, I'm going to go to Cape Town, I'm going to audition and all that stuff. So when I went to um, the open day for CPUT and for, for, for film, filmmaking, yeah. Yeah, it was really, really like, I, I, I saw that course because I wasn't really sure what I wanted. Like I had ideas of something that I wanted to study, but I really didn't know like what that thing is. So when I went to the open day, I was like, wow, this is something that I see myself doing for the rest of my life. Like, I would never get bored of this. Like, it's something that I really am passionate about because like that day, I wanted to be in front of the camera, but because of the, everything that happens behind the camera, I was like, okay, wow, well, this is what I want to do. What did you write? I don't know my name. Yup. Blend it in with the door. It's fine. My friend, where can it? I land. Going all the way. Wait. Yeah, my friend. Oh. Wait, my friend. Go, go, how you are very creative. Black. China. <laughs> oh, it's possible. The sky is the limit. No. The future is bright. Yo, I was taking the whole thing. No, it's fine. I'm just thinking what I like. What's up everybody? So we just finished our interview right now. The name of the show is Boy Cruise with Cool C. And how was it my friend? Yeah, it was fine, you know, so fine. I hope you guys are gonna listen to it. If not, hopefully we'll be able they, to. They wouldn't listen to it by now because 
Oh, you said that. Uh, no, like, True. Because, yeah. True. If you didn't, I'm sure we'll be able it was, to. It was, we were supposed to go live, but then I don't know what was the complication and the convenience and stuff like that. There's a couple of things that's going on right now, so they're busy for cutting that. So, we couldn't go live, but we did a pre recording, which will be on air tomorrow. Yes. Be obviously for you guys, it's not on the 10th. Yeah, on the 10th of October. <laughs> Today's the 9th, on the 10th of October, it's going to be yeah. up on air. So yeah, we're really excited because this is our first interview, guys. We've never been, we've never done any interview. So yeah, it's really it exciting. It was a very new experience. Oh it was a new experience and it was lovely. Yeah, so Thank you. right now we're going home. Yeah.